the humanitarian consequences of two years of warfare in South Sudan remain severe. For residents on the run, life remains chaotic and finding health care can be a major challenge. But an ICRC hospital in Kodok is defying high odds to offer medical care. As you see now. In July, the hospital was caught in the crossfire during a battle. Bullet holes pierced the hospital fence and the corner of the building was hit. Two people were killed. When I was hiding under the bed, I was thinking like, a lot of the people was dying during the, the gunship shoot, shooting. I was thinking of the people who was just living next uh, to the hospital. And the one who is the hospital in, in the hospital, I was thinking there was all of them that was dying. It was it's what I was thinking. I didn't leave because uh, I need uh, to help uh, people. Uh, those they need help. So the, our staff they come also, they walk. The security concerns for the hospital have subsided for now. The medical team that briefly pulled out has returned and resumed operations. When we came back, thank God I've been treated and my leg is better than it was before. When we came back, we were well received. We found those who had fled the hospital, those who were scared at the time of the attack, including doctors and workers, have come back too. The medical team understands the risk involved in their line of duty, but they are ready to face them in the course of saving lives. Mahia Mutua, CCTV.